this is the brand new lens, the 35-150 f2 to f2.8 from Ta Samyang. I've had this lens for a couple of weeks now. The focal length is obviously very versatile and I did listen to a few comments on previous videos about saying I haven't shot any portraits. Again, I'm not a portrait shooter, but I did try to please everybody this time. So I've done a little bit of everything. I've got a bit of landscape in there, a bit of portrait shots, shot a little bit of sport, like volleyball stuff, which I enjoy, just to kind of put it through its paces and see what the tracking and things like that is. But we will get into that in a little bit. So, a little bit of technical info. Um, if you know my previous videos, you know I don't do technical stuff. It's really not me, but I have wrote this down. It weighs 1,224 grams. It has nine blades, 82 millimeter filter, um, which is good, same as all the rest of my filters. 157.4 uh, millimeters long, uh, 21 elements in 18 groups. If that means anything to anybody. Um, in terms of weight, I think it's very, very similar to the, to the Tamron. Its groupings are a little bit different. Um, same with size, I think this is a slightly, slightly bigger. So fairly, obviously, compact parable to the, the Tamron, which which it is going to be compared to because it's pretty much exactly the same lens. But then again, other lens manufacturers bring up 2470s, uh, 7200s, so why shouldn't 35 to 150 be the next kind of standard kind of focal length? And using it again for a few weeks, I can see why this will be popular, and obviously the Tamron is popular as well, because it's just a great focal length to have. But in terms of technical stuff, that's as much as I'm going to get into, and I won't mention the Tamron again. Um, I don't have the Tamron to compare it to. As you can see, all my lenses basically behind me are all Samyang. So I will be kind of using this on its own merits and comparing it to my other Samyang lenses. But well, here is a little bit of behind the scenes, and I'll go through some of the images of the first shoot that I did with this lens. So today we're filming in the gorgeous, gorgeous Dalston Hall. Um, it's a medieval kind of hotel, come castle, come haunted place as well. But we're filming mainly for Samyang. This is the brand new 35 to 150 f2 to f2.8. And what we really wanted is to get a lot of portrait shots because that's really what it's designed for, the focal length. It means we can pretty much do anything we want with it. So obviously we've got a model in today, we've come to this gorgeous location, hopefully we're going to get a couple of really, really nice photos. Oh God, just do that again for me. of a focal length like this going from 35 to 150 is you can really play with the compression in the background. It's basically shot what we're going to do now. We're going to start wide on the 35mm, show the how far back the whatever it's called. What do you call them? Yeah, whatever it is. And then I'll move back, zooming in closer, and then I'll compress the background. Hopefully this rain's going to stay off as well. But from the 35 to 150, even though it's the same shot, it'll look very, very, very different. So we're just going to do that now. Look, just, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it.
found this lens, the tracking on it is very, very, very good. Um, I did shoot some volleyball as well, which hear the images uh, from that. I really don't know whether it's a software thing or it's um, new groupings, obviously, like I mentioned before, or something like that, but it did seem to just stick to the faces, um, bodies or eyes, obviously, depending on what I was fo um, focusing on. So, the next thing is obviously the button layout on this. There is two custom buttons on it this time, and then AF to MF switch. There is unlock and lock here, but it's actually quite, I wouldn't say it, it would creep anyway, because obviously this is fairly, it's, it's a good weight to it, so obviously it doesn't, doesn't creep. And then there's three different custom modes on here. But well, there's actually technically six custom modes because there's three custom modes under AF and three custom modes under MF. Um, one of those interesting ones on here is if you switch it to MF and go to custom three, that is a dolly zoom mode. Um, you would have seen it on kind of Jaws and Vertical is obviously one of the famous ones from it. Um, just a little bit something extra they've obviously added for video which would be quite cool to see kind of people. I have tried it, but it's quite difficult kind of handheld. And obviously coming back to video, they've kept the, the focus ring. This is obviously off the VAF lenses. So you don't need any specific um, kind of tooth thing to go, what's, what's, what's the name of it? Whatever it is, yeah. Anyway, so you basically focal focus will basically dig into here and actually grip quite easily, which again, for me, I'm not quite sure where I'll be using this more for videos because I do prefer VAF because obviously they're nice and light. But maybe if I did put this on my, my rig, having the follow focus there and not having to rig up anything else, it might be quite useful. Um, but again, I'm not sure about video with this yet. I think it's maybe a little bit too heavy for me. But that's personal choice. So that's probably about it. It's really one of my typical reviews it's i'm not a reviewer leave that to kind of tom carlton and pav sv and the people who do it properly but please leave any comments down i'll try to answer them the best i can um well you know me i'm not particularly technical go and check out uh, pete and Alyssa's um youtube they basically go into a bit more it's hold my lens cap i think they call it now they did change the name but go and check it out if you want a bit more in-depth review um, Pete does a fantastic job on there and obviously Alyssa is a portrait photographer so go check them out well thank you very much uh, like I said I try to answer as many questions as possible as best I can cheers